Welcome to Antonio Engineers. I'm your host, Chris Tarsis, and this is an NNN show. We've obviously been busy doing streams, but don't worry, we're still doing pre-recorded content. And this video is obviously, um, I think this is not the first time I've talked about it, but uh, Nintendo's continued prophetic um, treatment of the Switch Online service, but particularly to do with NES and Super Nintendo games. Uh, there was an article, just a recent one, on Nintendo Live talking about it, so I thought I'd throw my hat into the uh, lineup of complaints about it. Now, basically, with the NES uh, app, you get about 63 games, including the uh, SP version games. Now, basically, there was 20 Super Nintendo games that arrived um, in September, and nothing else has been updated. And of course, since then, they've said, well, we're not going to do any monthly updates anymore. We'll just do it when we feel like it. And this has led to basically a complete drought since September. So nothing October, nothing November, maybe absolutely nothing. And to be honest, this is a reason why the online service is this cheap. Here in Australia, it's $30. In America, it's about $20. And it's just absolutely appalling. The, um, the treatment of um, their online service with NES and Super Nintendo games. Um, there's no Donkey Kong Country trilogy. There's no other sort of classic games that you may be looking forward to on the service, which is just really, really poor. Now... Some people might be hoping for a, you know, a Christmas little present of a few new games, but there's a reason why it's so cheap. Um, the online service is still buggy. The voice chat, the way it's set up is absolutely pathetic via your smartphone. It's absolutely garbage, let's be honest. No one likes it. No one likes to use the service. This is why we use Discord. Uh, there's an absolute reason why. Um, no one wants to use the voice chat on their mobile phone and use the switch at the same time. It's absolutely convoluted and useless. And I'm sick and tired of waiting for games. Like people will just turn to emulators and, and just stay on the Super Nintendo, you know, classic minis or elsewhere. They'll go looking for, for other things. Like even the Wii U and other past consoles have had, um, a bigger library of games. Now, it's not like Nintendo can't do it. I think they've got the manpower. If they had, if they really cared about doing the online service better, they would put the effort into it. I think the real reason why is that Nintendo probably doesn't care. I don't know. I just don't understand. You know, someone needs to go to Japan to the head office and, and try to figure out what's going on. Why is it that an online service like this is just this terrible. And it continues to be terrible to today. You know, the Switch has been... We will celebrate three years in March next year. And we don't have N64 games. We don't have GameCube games. We don't have Game Boy games. I'm no, I know you can put Game Boy games on it. The 30-year-old games. You know, pretty much 30 years old this year. But it just seems like Nintendo just doesn't give a stuff at the moment. And I don't know why. People, more people would subscribe to it. And I think Nintendo sort of gone, well, you know, they still have to subscribe to our service to play Mario Kart and to play Pokemon Sword and Shield and things like that. So we don't have to really put up a good service. We're getting $20, $30 free from users every year. So we don't have to put much of an effort into what the online service is. You know, we've we've hooked them in. It's the only way you're going to be trading Pokemon um, online. If you live in the countryside and you don't have many friends um, and you want to trade Pokemon, then you have to use the online service. You can't you can't go to a, a meetup um, with friends and that and trade Pokemon. That's your only choice. You want to play Splatoon 2, you've got to pay the $20, $30 a year. You want to play other games? The only game that you can really play for free is Fortnite. Now, if they did put a price on the Fortnite, no one would have played it. 
I think there would have been a big boycott because Fortnite is free on PC and PS4 and all the other services, uh, for example. But for all your Nintendo games, you have to pay twenty, thirty dollars. And if you're a big fan like me and you run a channel, you have to pay it each year. You don't have a choice. So I think that's why Nintendo and I can't think of any other reason why. Either they're lazy, they can't they can't be this stupid. Like they can't be like, oh, how do you put an N sixty four game on a Switch? Hmm, that's just too hard. I think they know what they're doing. I think they just generally don't ha um they just don't want to put the effort into it. Maybe they're just more interested in, in releasing new Switch games. But you know, Nintendo has the biggest gold mine of classic games where they could be making money from. And they don't bother to do it. I don't know why. It's it's always been one of those things where I've always struggled to try to understand Nintendo at times. And, you know, we run a Nintendo channel. We normally praise them and say the Switch games have been fantastic. But there are definitely things that Nintendo does that is very frustrating and doesn't make any sense. You know, and they're also trying to sell microtransaction games of like Mario Kart Tour, where they're trying to get seven dollars out of me each month. <laughs> seven dollars each month out of a game where it is basically gambling. You know, you you push down the the pipe, and out comes a character. You might have one percent chance of getting a good character that will help you out in the game. And some people will say, oh, well, you don't have to pay anything for the game. But you kind of do in some respects if you want to get further in the game or get the higher scores when you're doing that. It's just... <sighs> it's frustrating. It is frustrating. And there's nothing you can do. All you can do is maybe do some sort of online campaign and start telling Nintendo what you want. You want more classic games on it. You want more... Um, value for content, really. The value is just not there. If it wasn't for the ability to play online with Pokemon and Splatoon and Mario Kart and Smash Brothers, there would be no reason to um, spend $30 a year. People would just emulate the games on their PC. Or would stick with the Wii U or stick with the old Wii console there. They want to play the classics. So... I don't know why they keep doing this. You know, I could make a video like this every three to six months and saying, hey, Nintendo's still not pulling the finger out of their ass. You know, and it's a sad thing. I don't understand why. Maybe go ask an experienced video game journalist and, and rack, rack their heads about why they don't do it. But it is pretty appalling. And then they try to sell, what was it, the, um, the Super Nintendo controllers online only for like 56 uh, actually it was 80 dollars or something like that you know 25 year old controllers with a bit of bluetooth stuck into it and they over and they overprice it and sell it for online only which doesn't make a whole lot of sense but that's the way they do it so you know all right that's all i've got to say we're just going to keep waiting and hoping that maybe we'll get through throwing a few bones by Nintendo for um, their inadequate system that they have. And this is why I'm getting the Super Nintendo Classic Mini. And I might have to put some emulated games on it because I would like to play Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3, but oh wait, it's not on the Switch. Not I don't think even the original is on it. Or other really great classic games that people love to play. So... It's up to you, Nintendo. Pull the finger out. Do something. It's been years. It's been years. And you've never, you have never been able to get your online services right. In the whole, in the whole of Nintendo's history. The whole of Nintendo's history. We're going back in, to the Wii era. Or the DS era too. Which is now, oh, 15 years next year. 15 years. That's a long time. So that is it for me. And I shall see you next time.